Hello everybody and welcome back to the Unity Endless Runner series. Now in this video we will be tracking Ethan's distance by putting a few simple lines of code into his player movement script. So without further ado, let's begin. One more thing, if you like this sort of content, please be sure to subscribe and hit that like button. Okay, so we have Ethan moving and we have him moving pretty well. So this is what we left off with. So basically, he moves just fine, and he can jump. But let's say that we want to track his distance that he has done so far. And this could be a type of score that we can use later on. So let's go to our player movement script and see what we can do. Okay, so we are in the c -sharp script. And what we are going to use for this is we are going to use something called invoke repeating but we'll get to that in just a second because what we have to do is basically let's go back into unity what we want to do is we want to display a text on the upper right hand corner to display how far he has gone so we have to add using unity engine.ui and this will allow us to create code to incorporate our text so now we have to make a variable to identify our text. So we'll just say public text distance. Okay, so we have that. So now what we want to do is in void start, we're going to use the invoke repeating tool. And if you want a tutorial on this, please check out the previous video that I did and that goes over that. So we're going to say invoke repeating and we'll call this distance remember that's the method that we'll be calling upon and we want to start at zero seconds and this okay for this we want it to repeat every speed seconds so basically this makes it so that the distance increases with speed so there we have it so we have invoke repeating distance zero speed now we have to make the method. So let's go down below all of our methods and we will say void distance. There we go. And that is the same as this distance because it is case sensitive. So there we have it. This error that we are getting, the type player movement already contains a definition for distance. That is occurring because we named our text distance, so we'll say distance moved. And that should fix that right there. So now, basically what we want to do is we want to incorporate the text into our void distance. So what we're going to do is we are going to make a variable public int and we will call this distance unit not public int just int so int distance unit so what we're going to do is make distance unit to be equal to zero because it's going to start at zero and now what we're going to do is we're going to take our text the distance move text and we are going to apply the zero to our text. So what we are going to do now is say distance moved equals distance unit to string. And that should work just perfectly. So let's go, oh, never mind. There is one thing that we left out. We have to say distance unit equals distance unit plus one. So there we have it. So let's save the script and go into Unity. One small thing, there are two small mistakes that I made with the code here. So the first mistake is float distance unit equals zero has to be a global variable so that it doesn't keep setting it equal to zero every time and then the second mistake is with speed we have to set this to be one over speed so basically it will now call it one over the 
unit for speed times. So basically, the greater the speed, the faster the distance will go by. So let's save this. Okay, so we are back in Unity, and first what we want to do is check out Ethan and make sure it's there. Okay, distance moved text is there. So we're going to create a UI text. And as you can see, the text appears right here in the canvas. So now, one thing that we are going to do is in the canvas scaler is we are going to check scale with screen size and that just makes everything a whole lot easier when playing the game with our text. So with our text, let's just type distance. Now this we don't need, but it's good for having it in the editor. So let's find our text. There we go distance. Let's move it up here. So as you can see we are looking at it in the editor right now. So we'll move it to the side here. Let's say font size 20 and let's just well first we have to drag our text into Ethan so distance so for our player controller or our player movement we will drag distance into there. Okay, let's hit play and see what happens. Okay, so as you can see, you can track Ethan's distance from up here. Now let's increase the speed and see if this changes anything. Let's say 10. All right, so Ethan's going a lot faster now, which means that his distance has increased. Okay, there we go. So thank you very much for watching this short tutorial video on how to create a distance tracker. And hopefully I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye!